Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode on Alma. Uh, today we have a big job ahead of us and that is the corn harvest. We, we are in October and the corn should be ready to harvest on our biggest field. And uh, it is, but the bad news is that we have rain in the forecast and it will rain from 8 a.m. until 11. So I'm going to do something else. I'm going to speed up time just a little bit put it at times 10 for now and slow it down after the rain stops and until the uh, the rain finishes i will do something else i will attach the the, the drill uh, to this tractor and uh, start drilling our two two fields the ones that we plowed in the in the last episode and I will put, like we discussed, I will put grass in the field next to the ships. And uh, I will put probably rye, but I will have to check if it's the correct time to plant rye in the other one. So, but right now let's put some seed and some fertilizer. Let's put, let's buy actually, not put, because we don't have any, we'll buy from this side over here. Uh, some seed and some fertilizer. Doesn't want to buy fertilizer, but I don't know why. We'll have to reposition, I think, or do something else. Uh, I used this uh, silo with this uh, drill on other maps, and it worked fine. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't want to buy. Maybe it was not the correct position. So let's set this to grass. And uh, let's start drilling this field. We can drill it while it rains. I don't think it's a problem. It will not affect anything. Uh, so let's start drilling. I will do two laps around the headlands and... Uh, no, I wanted to say I would do two laps around the headland and then uh, hire a worker, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I will continue drilling by myself until the, the rain stops and if I finish uh, then I can move to the to the rolling side of things uh, why isn't the map saying that it's putting fertilizer down because it's consuming it from the cedar but it's not putting it to the ground and I don't understand why. Mm, this is weird. Yeah, it is what it is. I'll continue like this and uh, I'll have to... Uh, fertilize it when the grass has grown a bit that will mean tomorrow probably in the first growth stage is, which is not a problem but since i have this drill that already does fertilizer i was expecting it to be done in one pass and not have to come back to this field again but okay doesn't want to do it maybe it will do it on the other field maybe it's a problem only with this we, we will have to see but I will continue, I will continue with this and uh, I will come back when we are going to start the harvest or if we finish drilling both our fields.
Okay everyone, the rain is now almost fully stopped, I think in 2 minutes in game time it will fully stop and I will slow down time, I think I will put it at times 3 and see if it will be enough, otherwise we can slow it down again later. So yeah, the rain stop, let's, uh, let's do it. We are now at times 3 and I think uh, I may have an answer to the question why didn't the drill put fertilizer down uh, it may be because of the light uh, I remembered that uh, the crop sensors that I say are pro compact I think it's called that it's installed on the tractor uh, doesn't work during the night or if the light is bad and that may be one of the reasons why uh, the drill didn't put fertilizer down but I'm not sure it, another reason could be also that I didn't update the map I saw that a new version of the map has been released today uh, and I didn't do the update because the update requires a new save game uh, I'm still thinking about if I'm going to do it or not Probably I'm going to do it and uh, try to recreate as closely as possible everything that uh, we have right now to be able to to continue the let's play, but I haven't decided yet. Uh, right now I've set this drill on a worker and let's get into the combine harvester go pick up the corn header I think the header is somewhere behind those silos over here and start harvesting the corn because uh, it's all, already 21 minutes past 11 so uh, the day will end in a, in a GP so we don't have that much time uh, I think I'm going to do a bit of the harvesting of camera uh, but for now I want to begin the harvest to do maybe two roads around the headland and uh, then set it off on a, on a worker while I move the drill to the other field uh, I checked the map and we can put rye in the other field so that's what we are going to do uh, I'm gonna start the time lapse now and uh, see you guys back here uh, when we need to move the drill to the other field hopper of the combine it's now almost full and I didn't manage to finish a full lap around the field uh, we still have a bit to go we started just uh, on the other side of the horse tables that we can see on top of the hill there this job will be huge I don't know how much time it will take me to actually finish harvesting this field or how much corn we are going to uh, take out of it so I'll have to do a bit 
portion of uh, of the harvest of camera because otherwise uh, it will take me probably three episodes to to finish this uh, this harvest so I'm going to go and uh, empty the first uh, full hopper and then uh, finish this lap and put the harvester on a worker and go finish the drilling of the grass myself because the worker it's getting confused and uh, doesn't want to actually finish the job I tried so I'll have to finish that corner of the field myself and start the right drilling also but I'm going to do all of this uh, off camera and I will probably see you back for you it will be a second but for me it will take some time uh, I'm going to see you back uh, after the drilling of the rye will be finished just before we start the rolling process and I'll have then also an update about the situation of the corn harvest I'm back everyone I just got the prompt that the uh, harvester is now full so let's go empty it this will be basically after we unload the harvester it will be our second load and we are going to take it to the silo uh, we did until now a big portion of the harvest but it's not nearly half and almost half of the drilling of the rye and uh, after we tip this uh, trailer in the in the silo i'm thinking about installing uh, a workshop repair point something along those lines in the farm to see if we can maybe extend the capacity of this uh, of this trailer because it's we unload the harvester twice and uh, it's already full and that doesn't help like at all and maybe we can extend the capacity and then I'm going to start a time lapse I'm going to do the drilling on the left what's left of the drilling on a time lapse and also the corn harvesting will will continue and see if we can manage to finish everything by the end of this episode I'm noticing that the time it's already 42 minutes past one so I'm going to slow it down a little bit to times two to be able to uh, finish the harvest by the end of October I also noticed if we go here to this menu that the best time to sell wheat is October when we have 73,000 liters of wheat that should go to Sedale I think this is the train if I remember correctly so we need to also sell the wheat today but uh, we will do that I think as the last thing maybe in this episode uh, just before uh, just after we finish with the with the harvest so let's go into the trailer install a workstation repair point we'll see let's see what uh, what we have installed what I have installed because I actually don't know install it somewhere uh, on the farm uh, you will see when I start the time lapse that the drill is still not using the fertilizer there could be a couple of reasons behind that but I'm thinking uh, one of them that I don't think our tractor has the crop sensor installed and that may be one of the problems I'm not sure uh, the other one I think I said earlier it could be that I didn't install the map update so before I will record the next episode I think I'm gonna install the map map update and uh, I'll have to put in a lot of hours to get to the point to where we are now or at least to where we are going to be at the end of this episode and I'm not entirely sure that after putting in all the work and everything uh, all will be a hundred percent the same 
but I'm going to try and do my best to be as close as possible to the current situation I mean have more or less the same amount of money uh, have more or less the same level of crops in the fields I'm not particularly sure if the tractors will have the same amount of diesel in them and everything but I think those are details and also have uh, installed the same things on the farm although I checked the description of the uh, map update and I think there will be some changes to the farm as I saw we will have a chicken coop we will have some more animals I think we will have also goats so probably we are going to change some things because right now okay we have bot and we have sheep going but if we are going to have also goats I think they will go in the same pen and I'm thinking about also getting goats so we can get uh, goat milk so we have this right now and if you want to put the extension it's 5500 uh, for 11,000 liters so I'm going to do that even though I'm using up a lot of the money that we don't have but it will be much easier I mean we can unload the harvester three times right now and uh, not be a hundred percent full and also it will be easier when we will start to move the grain around if we, if we want to sell the wheat I mean we have 73,000 liters of wheat uh, it will be a pain in the ass to move that with a 20,000 liter trailer so it's best to upgrade it so let's get back to this tractor over here and continue with the ripe planting I think I'm going to need to refill the drill with seeds again I refilled it already once but I think I'll have to to do it again but we'll have to see I'll start the time lapse now and uh, come back to you I think when the drilling will be will be done
the drilling is now finished also on this field we have now both the grass and the rye in the ground uh, but the, the work is not done on them we also need to roll the fields the harvest the corn harvest is also on its way i mean we did a big chunk of the of the field but we still have a long way to go having a big trailer to cart the corn helps a lot we don't have to go backwards and forwards all the time so that was a good investment uh, i hope i will not run out of money until we manage to finish with uh, with the harvest the rolling i'll do by myself so i will not waste more money on on helpers so let's put this drill back in the in the shed if i manage to reverse it properly uh, and not hit the doors on the way in i hope uh, let's put it back from where we got it off just uh, next to the cultivator here uh, and let's attach the rolls who should be yeah just in this corner here I'm going to do the rolling also with this tractor. I don't remember exactly the horsepower requirements of the of the rolls, but the, I think the other tractor is too small. Uh, we are going to start with the grass field, roll that, and then move to the to the other one. Uh, and I'm going to see you once this is uh, once once this is done. Okay, so the rolling on the grass field is now done. We missed some bits here and there, but it's not a problem. We still need to roll the rye field, but I'm going to do that off camera because our corn harvest is almost finished. I'm gonna unload the harvester using the... I'm not gonna use anything because the worker got confused. That what uh, that was what I was afraid of. I'm gonna take over the the corn harvest to finish it. It should take about two minutes in a in a time lapse. This and we have one or two strips in the other end. Uh, so let's finish this. Let's see how much corn we have in total. And then the last thing we are going to do in this episode is going to go and sell the wheat. And like I said, the rolling on the right field I'm going to do off camera. Okay, so let's finish this corn harvest. I'm going to time lapse it and I will see you guys when the harvest is ready. harvest is now officially finished it took a lot of time and uh, a lot of money actually because most of it was done using an AI worker while I drilled the grass and the rye fields uh, let's tip this directly into the silo and then uh, go bring back the trailer with the rest of the corn and see how much we have in total 
and like I said the last thing we are going to do in this episode will be to sell the wheat but let's see we need to sell it at Sedalia Sedalia should be the train sell point I think yes it's the train sell point over here but where do we need to load rent train is here railroad storage silo so here is where we need to bring the wheat i'll tag this place so it will be easier to find let's put the harvester together with the corn header behind this shed over here turn off also the engine let's jump into this tractor and uh, go back to the to the farm with the rest of the corn to see how much we got in total almost all, all the corn is in let's see how we how much we have in total uh, a little bit more going okay so in total we have 106,000 liters of corns and if we sell it in January, January when the price will be good we are going to make around 100k on the corn which is not bad at all. Now let's uh, start loading and moving the, the wheat and I'm going to see you at the railroad silo with the last load because we are going to move the wheat I think in three loads. Last load of wheat is now in the railroad silo. Let's go rent the train. And uh, let's see how far that train is. I need the menu for that. It's 1.7 kilometers away, so it's going to come real quick. And we are going to load up the the wheat in the train and go sell it. Go take a joyride with the train. I never did it on camera before, so it will be the first time. I don't know from which direction the train will come actually. It's better not to sit as on the railroad so it doesn't hit me. Uh, it should be here fairly quick. Uh, usually the train shows on the map, but since it's not showing, I'm guessing it will come from here, from this end. I'm guessing. We'll have to see. It's 500 meters and closing. Come on, train. Faster. 300 meters, 250 meters. Where's the train? I should be able to see it from 200 and something meters. I'm guessing 100 meters. Oh, here it is. So yeah, I was right. It's coming from the... Let's say end of the map. We need to let it stop. Now we can get in it. We can start it up. And let's open this first... Uh, trail trailer here the braking on this train is horrible let's back up a little bit and we can put the wheat the capacity should be big I mean it should take all the wheat into this one I'm guessing I didn't, it's been a while since I used the train last time Okay, it took everything. Now let's go sell the wheat. Uh, and then we will end the episode here. And until next time, actually next time I don't know when it should be, should have been Saturday, but uh, I'm going to update the map and I have to redo everything. Uh, and that will take me a while, so I don't know if I will be able to finish uh, redoing everything until Saturday I'm gonna try my best otherwise uh, probably the next episode will be somewhere uh, next week probably I don't know exactly 
this is a nice part of the map this is a nice wood area with a lot of trees and since we are in October we have these orange leaves with reds and accents and it's very beautiful uh, I think we should be arriving at the end of the map fairly soon because that's where we are going to sell the wheat and let's hope we make a lot of money right I think we should be somewhere around hundred thousand on the on the wheat yes I want to sell the wheat 99,500 so like I said we should be around hundred thousand so we end this episode in a good mood we had over, we have now over a hundred thousand in the bank even though we have a big loan to pay and we still have over 100,000 liters of corn that we are going to sell probably in January when the price will be good and we are also probably going to sell it to Sedalia but this is it for this episode I hope you still enjoy this series if you do please press the like button if you want to watch more of my videos subscribe to the channel and in the end I'll see you next time thanks for watching